I decided to capitalize on the hottest trend of the summer and give the Rampage that Carolina squat. Give that front end up in the air. It looks good, yo. Okay, and the way you get the proper Carolina squat, pull out the motor so it doesn't go anywhere and doesn't hurt anybody. So, well, my previous motor, well, it was completely rusted shut. So it was time for it to go. All right, All right Mr. Hard Worker, check it out. We got to pull this pin out so we can get the CV axles out. Yeah, but that's going to be so hard. Pretty hard. I think it's going to be pretty hard, but look. First, we got to get this. You know what this is called, this pin? No. That's a cotter pin. We got to get that cotter pin out. Oh. Um, you know what that does? No. It's very important. It keeps stuff from even starting to spin. Because if it just starts spinning, then it could all come off and you'd be driving along and suddenly you'd have no axles. Just be gone. That's not good. <laughs> no. But so this. We have to do it. That's right. So we're going to now. So that's this little cap right here. That was pretty darn rusty. Now we got to see if we have a socket that fits this. Oh. Too big. Help me find it. I think we have a 36 around here somewhere. Yeah, but probably... Mm. Look, we can use our... Besides the biggest. Yeah, let's see. It's a 32. It looks like it's a, probably a 32. Yeah, 32. Boy. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Well, I don't know if we're going to be able to do it with our uh, 32, but we can, uh, we can give it a try. Let's see what happens. Went down to our friendly O'Reilly's and uh, got this rentable 32 millimeter axle nut. Oh, that's, a, that's on there. Look at our impact next. But, yeah, try, try a few things first. So, try this. There it is. side no then i'll bring it back in we're doing the lift harbor freight was having one of them uh 20 off for father's day things so i uh being a father went and uh, got myself a, a load leveler 1500 pounds good stuff so in a previous video i showed how to remove the head and i may or may not link to it it'll depend if i remember to it but got the head off now time to the motor up Dropped it once, not bad. Okay, next. We have to go Yeah. 
and unpause this so just, okay. let's just mute this part okay track of everything. It's the hard part. <laughs> so it's getting a hurry. take it out so that we can put that one in. Back here there's one in case the one in the red car does not work. So it was starting to get pretty darn hot. So uh, my video skills dropped as I just decided I had to get this out of here. We had to get to the scrapyard before it closed. And so I was just busy focusing on that aspect. It was really bizarre because I've never actually purchased a car before where a motor was this badly you know, seized up. Whoever owned it before me had put in water and it had just rusted everything up. All the water channels were rusted up. So this motor was just gone. There was no... I mean, you could maybe make it work if you were willing to spend the time and money and a lot of money, but that wasn't for me. There she goes, get recycled. 357 pounds worth of engine and transaxle. Go, go bye bye. Look at this nice Land Rover. Looks at this Land Rover. Yeah, uh, oh, this is good. It's gotta be somewhere in the car, man. Man, look at this one. This one's signed. It's a fancy PT Cruiser. Oh, no. And now it's time to get rid of that Carolina squat the right way by taking that magic of the Shelby motors from the Chryslers of the 80s and stuffing in the Rampage. The Rampage Shelby didn't dare to make and Chrysler wouldn't do. So here we go.